Hi there, Frank here for premium members for the trading day of August the 15th, 2024, a Thursday. Thanks to those who came to the session today, Shark Week was, I hope it was fun and informative. And we have a coupon code as a reminder for the next couple of days, Shark Week, capital letters, one word, you can use it in the store. And also, let's look at the indexes here. By and large, actually not just by and large, but almost exactly things are evolving as we expected. So look at the price action here. We didn't get much of a pullback. We either, oh, by the way, if you're new to premium starting out now because you just joined, then go back a couple of days and watch the last uh, two, three videos so you know the story. We're in the middle of a story here on the indexes. We were expecting a breakout either to the upside or to the short side. Based on the bottom tail and the weekly, we've been bullish and we broke out. There were two scenarios, either go long on the breakout aggressively or wait for the first pullback after the breakout, while always remembering that we don't always get a pullback. In any case, we also said wait for the first bar to close above the 50%. Now that was two candles ago, you see. So Monday closed above the 50 on smaller charts. Time to be bullish. Okay, also NQ. Let's go through them one by one to see if there's any difference. Again, you see, we didn't get the pullback. That's okay. If it doesn't happen, you just have to make a decision. Or am I gonna do I wanna be on this train as it leave? the station or not. If yes, then just enter the trade, stop around midline maybe, just give it 380 yards as usual. And YM is the one that we were eyeing most intensively and the one that is worth being long on as we speak. Here we had a real clear up or down to trigger points. We have the algorithmic signal on the perfect bar. Look at this. So either case, we're about maybe 0.75% R. Trail it, tighten it. I think we're going to get to the upper counter. At least check the previous high, 41.50, 41.500. And RTY, well, I would say it's not my first choice. Bear flag on the daily, which I think will fail. So as discussed before, and I think the next journey is to the upper area of the range here. This top tail is never a good sign. Having said that, this could just follow the other three to the upside. But again, the YM is the one that's the cleanest. Okay, the next asset class currencies that we've been by and large pretty good. The, this trade is done, so this top tail is not something I want to pursue. But I think 112 is where the ES is going. The question is how and when. 6A is next. Look at this beautiful one. Now, this is typical. The market, before the market does something, the market does something else. You see, so this is typical. And as experienced old bears here in this business, never get scared of a candle like this. Actually, this is a very bullish candle. And on the close of this candle, if you haven't done so yet, I think it's time to go along. So, Let's just step back to the YM, and I do remember yesterday, was it, that this is a money-making opportunity, and we were down here. Hope you listened. Now I'm saying the same thing. 6A, this is a money-making opportunity. Of course, nothing is risk-free. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that I haven't seen a better edge lately than this one. And also, there is a, well, either you count it from here, as a measured move, or you just take it from here, a more conservative, you see, measured move would take us back to the upper Gartner. But if you want to do it on the four hour chart, perfect. Okay, other ones, 6B. Here we go, another bull flag, a little bit spiky, but I think it's worth considering. So unless you want to do the 6A, which looks the cleanest, you can also consider these. And if you're new to this, of course, needless to say, that these trades are correlated. So don't do the same thing on five different currencies because it's all the same trade against the USD. Also, I want to say one more thing, especially if you're just uh, trying this out for five days. Let me comment. All these nightly videos, 
I comment and share my hard earned knowledge or wisdom or whatever you want to call it experience as situations come up. So if you join for five days and you cancel for five days, well, unless you go through, it's impossible to go through the historic video. So you have to stick with us for a while. So all these situations can come up and all the successful traders put algorithmic signals in a context. There are factors here which are difficult to be quantified by the computer or sometimes the computer just completely misunderstands the situation. For example, this short trade is something we never considered taking, of course, because we know better and of course because we look at the correlations on other markets. Long story short, if you want to be serious about this, then stick around because every night there is something which is an important lesson. And when I say put it in your book, that means that I'm saying something which I think should be written down and should be remembered because it will recur during the year many times. Okay, so that was my little pep talk. Let's move on. 6N, remember, 6N is something we really liked. Again, the truth is the hard truth of the market. Well, we did hit the 1R after we collapsed. And I think there's another trade here developing. Now, there's another lesson which I can only share with you tonight because it's happening now and I see it now. And I have to say it when it happens. So here we go. This is a shock and it looks like it is being absorbed. Now, we could be wrong, in which case we're going to get a red candle on the four hour chart. But if we don't get a red candle, if we get a green candle, then this shock has been absorbed. I think you agree. If that is the case, then this is likely to become on the daily a measured move. And if that is the case, then you can go long right now or at least on the close of this four hour bar with a stop under you under this candle on the daily. This is how you can enter into a, let's call it a high probability trade with a relatively, actually aggressively small stop. I don't condone it. That's not something I usually say publicly because people misunderstand it all the time. But now that you're looking at this chart with me, you will agree that you and I, we understand why I'm saying that this is a situation where you can actually go along with a tight stop. Now, don't over trade, meaning don't put on more risk than your trading plan allows. Never exceed your risk. And one trade is as likely to fail as any other. So nothing is guaranteed. So put on the usual little risk, micros, whatever you do. The amount of money we're making is not really that important at, in the beginning anyway, in the first couple of years. What is important is to cement the process, the winning process. So that's how I see it. Another little pep talk, but sorry, it's been a long day and I'm full of ideas. So forgive me for that, but I hope you'll find it useful. All right. So again, to sum it up, 6N, wait for the close of this green bar. If we're convincingly going back up, consider a long trade with a 0.60 or something target area. And of course, trail it if it develops. Let's see what else. Then we have precious metals, which I think by and large are going up. Again, the, before the market does something, the market tends to do something else. We don't get scared. And actually, thanks to our genius entry method, useful entry method, we never got triggered, you see? So we, if price goes back up here, we're gonna go, we're gonna be ready to go long depending on how much, um, what the risk situation at that moment on our account might be. The other market we're looking at, of course, is silver, which I also think is going up. And I'm also guessing right now because I have no not enough price data at this point, that this bear flag will fail. This is what I'm expecting. If you're long for any reason on the weekly, manage the trade. And I think the weekly situation is similar to what we saw on the 6N. On the weekly, I think it makes sense to be long with a stop under this candle here. That could be ETFs as well. I know it's a big distance, but not on an ETF necessarily, SLV or something else. All right. And if this candle breaks, then it's a completely new situation anyway. This is how I see silver. And remember the upside potential, which was 
I'm not going to repeat it every week, but which was 50 in 2011, at which time we were on the market already. Okay. Let's see what else is here. Bitcoin is something we're looking at every once in a while. And I think this is still a complex bull flag. It's a ugly little structure, but that doesn't matter for us. What I'm guided by is the bottom tail on the weekly chart. That's all that matters for me right now. Okay. And then, of course, we have a failed setup. No harm done because we never got triggered. This is a second example, second little lesson here. I can share with you. Yes, we do have the algorithmic signal, but it's a daily chart. So we have an area here. And when you get this green bar, there's no reason to go short. So this is another situation where hopefully our entry method saves us from trouble. Look at the four hour chart. This bear flag that we expected never really materialized in any meaningful way for us. I hope you agree. So another bad entry and the potential losing trade was averted because of our smart thinking when it comes to our entries. Okay, so this was a little summary here. And it's been a long day. Thank you again for those who came to Shark. The video is already up somewhere, but I'm going to edit it down to make it more meaningful for us. A little digest and I will upload it to our YouTube channel. And we'll be back in the morning and we'll see where the index is and especially the YM is going. Thank you very much and mindful trading.